Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Medieval Engineers. Here we are for episode number six, seven, seven, I think. I think it's seven. I can't remember now. So I will show you a few things before we get started. But today we're going to work on the sawmill. But off camera, I've done this little thing. So our road's going to continue through the gate up and around this way. And then obviously it's going to continue from there as well. That'll join up down there somewhere. This will continue up to our stonemason and um, thinking like a wizard's tower over here somewhere and fill up with more stuff in here. You guys let me know what you think we should put in as well. But this is like a little, um, I don't know if we call it a keep or it's not a dungeon, but it's somewhere we're going to keep all our uh, materials. So like a, like a little warehouse, underground warehouse. So this side we've got um, all our stone area down this side, which we don't have a great deal of stone. Turn that on. Um, unfortunately, because I've got so much stuff done, when I dig, it's really weird now. So I'm not sure if I can um, maybe show you guys here. It's like I'm digging, but nothing's happening. Obviously, things are falling on the ground, but it's not really digging the wall away. It takes a while for it to dig away. So it's like that everywhere. It doesn't matter where I dig now. So and then we've got some logs on this side. Got a fair few in here. And then we're going to have timbers on this side. Obviously we're going to have two rows of stone because we're going to need a lot more stone than we do everything else. Um, and I just got some of these things in through here. And some chests that are back to front, but so it's like a blank end. I think they're going to get moved and so will these. And we'll probably put in, um, like come around through here and put in like a couple of big rooms just full of like storage crates and all that sort of stuff. So the sun should be coming up. So let's shut these doors. It is, so we'll run down towards our flour mill, and I'll show you our finished product here, which I'm, it's pretty well finished, not quite 100% yet, but I think inside here, obviously, I've still got to do a few things with these um, new log pillars up to the top here, but otherwise, that's pretty well done, and we've got outside done, all this stuff inside is good to go, so I've got to put in like a handrail around there or something to stop us from falling down. Um, got some storage stuff here, as you can see, all the stuff we need. Come out the back door, and you can see I've got an extra farm now. So this farm is fully planted. This one I'm still in the process of um, making cedars and plows and stuff. So we're going to have two farms side by side. I have changed the fence, as you can see, in the entrances. So completely different to what it was. So we're going to have a farm on this side with food and stuff. Maybe this one with just wheat or vice versa. So we definitely need the two farms going. Um, I was also thinking out the front, put inside here like all stone buildings, all people that are sort of upper class citizens, I guess you would call them, and put maybe like all the peasants and farmers out the front, outside the actual keep itself. Um, and come through here, we've got our bakery area. So this is where we've got our four cookers. We've got um, our fire here. And there is something here that every time I walk into it, I get stuck. And I have no idea what it is. Let's reset and run back in and try and avoid standing in that spot. I don't know what it is. There's nothing there, but every time I uh, stand there, I get stuck. So let's avoid standing there. And you'll see I've got like iron bars in here. I'm not sure if that fire is actually on. It doesn't look like it is. Um, let's knock this wall down. Oh, that actually was. Okay. Well, let's put that wall back in. Actually, it's a door, I think, that I had in there. Is it a door? No, it wasn't a door. It was a window. Um, wall with window. There we go. So you can see it's on, but it doesn't really flame up and up. But that's where I've sort of put the iron bars in, which is a downloadable mod. Um, just as if to say, that's where we put the we slide the bread on top there, and it cooks, and then we um, take it out. And why is there a bloody deer inside? And then cook in here as well. So, I mean, there's more than one spot to cook, but I thought that was a pretty good addition. And we've got like a sitting stool here and seat here. Now we run up to the shop. As you can see, like that's where we go downstairs, and this is the actual shop. So we've got our bread for sale here. Or our dampers or our loaves, whatever you want to call them for sale here. We've got um, some flour sacks for sale here. 
got a little sit down eating area for people to come in and um, have a chat, eat their bread, do whatever they want to do. And this is like our sale area. So we'll come in and grab whatever we want, come up to here, see the man, and buy it. And off we go. There's some more bread over here. Here is just extra bread as well. I've got tons of bread. And a chest that's full of nothing. So uh, actually, what I want to do is grab some more bread because I'm nearly out of bread. We'll come out the front. Oh, hello. Finally got barbarians. It's taken a while. Even though they're not really a threat half the time. Um, let's take his bandages. So we can't. I haven't got enough room. We took some, didn't we? Ah, uh, we'll just leave it there. Leave him there. So you can see our roof, we've got like the chimney on top there, which doesn't really work, unfortunately. There's a couple of weird spots in there. What's going on there with that roof? Definitely a few weird spots. I don't know. I can fix it up later anyway, but... So that's our bakery done. Come out through the back, you can see, as I said, the two farms down here. Pretty much identical setups. Maybe a little tiny bit different. I was going to put a wheel on there, but the wheel wasn't always touching the ground, so it makes it a little bit more difficult as well. Um, and over here is where we're going to start building our sawmill. So obviously I wanted our sawmill close to the main gate, um, because once this is moved, I think we're going to have to um, have it so like the person that's working in the sawmill has to go out with a cart, collect the logs, come back, and then um, cut them up in here. So I've got a pretty good idea of how I want this to work. I'm not sure if it's going to work the way I want it to, but um, we'll have to wait and see. There's some more ore on the ground here. Copper, well, can't grab it. Copper ore, anyway. So we're going to put timbers on this side, planks on this side. Um, I'm going to put, obviously, a walkway around like we did in the other place. So let's build a set of stairs here, slowly. And number eight, um, can we put it there? We can't. Okay, we'll put it there and there. They're not the same floors as they were before. I'm not sure what's going on. Let's just get rid of them and um, use the standard ones. I'm not sure why. It's not going to let us put it up there. It's kind of weird. Um, let me get rid of this and this. Where's our new... There we go. Put this in here. Now let's see if we can actually put a floor in here. Number eight. We can. There we go. I was thinking we'll just walk straight across here and then um, across here again. It's okay to walk on top of that because the power comes from the side, so it should, be, whoop, it should be fine. We shouldn't have any dramas at all, hopefully. So we'll head back up. Um, we've got a vertical shaft. Yeah, that should be fine. So we'll whack him in there. Hopefully we've got enough of everything to do what we need to do. Um, go back through, put in our stairs. I'm not sure. Maybe if you put that into there. We put that. No, I don't think it's going to want us to put it there. We can put it here, which will be fine. So let's knock that out. Actually, we're going to have to be down on the ground, aren't we? Otherwise, we're going to get in the way. There we go. Knock that in, and I'm going to put in a couple of these guys again. Uh, number six. Knock him in. Run up and around. Put in another one on top there. Hopefully we can reach it from here. Yeah, there we go. 
put this guy in and then we can continue across here hopefully. So I'm going to go another vertical shaft. So I can't remember how many high we went in that one. So that's three. I'm thinking maybe five is as high as I want to go and I think that's how high we went with the other side. So we'll have to wait and see I guess. Um, number eight. I'm definitely going to need some pillars down here. Another one on top. Need another one again, I think. Um, actually, no, because we're going to walk around. We'll go just around the corner first. So if we put in... Um, not there. We want it to go against this guy. Which makes it hard, which means we have to do it from the ground again. So back up, knock this back in again. Hopefully we can um, put some of these logs here as well. We can, good. Alright, go back up the top. I have to start working on the walls before we go too high up as well. Just to make sure we're going to be able to get everything in that we want to get in. Um, I think it was, no, it was the other way. There we go. Okay. So I've got number six here, which I think is going to be good. So we've got windows the whole way around. Probably not every level, but... Um, there we go. Now I want to put number seven in here. Actually, I think I want to put a door in there so we have like a little bit of um, a back entrance to a bit of storage area, which will be hopefully ideal. Knock these windows in. So I didn't see if we could actually put shutters on there. Probably can't, I don't think. One more hit. No, I want it to put it up, not knock it down. You might hear a cat in the background. We have just got a new cat, so she might end up meowing away a fair bit in the background. Alright, we'll get rid of that um, and that. We're not going to need those two blocks for now. Uh, I want to get that one and also want to put in a door. So put in a door there. I haven't got metal parts on us, but we do have heaps, so we'll have to go and grab some of those. That one there. That one there. That one there. Put in some more of these guys because there is something I want to do on the outside which is going to look kind of unique I think I don't know if anyone's done it before possibly have but um, I think it's going to add to the structure strength which I think we'll probably have to go out and get started on it pretty soon which means we're going to need, we definitely will need that big boy block back. If we can get rid of a few other things we're not going to need at the moment anyway, so that'll be fine. Get rid of those stairs and that door as well. That and that, we'll grab our big boy block, block back. So what I want to do is put these two in here uh, number five large vertical slope don't 
definitely going to need a big boy block in there if we can get one in there. There we go, perfect. Then I'll put another vertical slope up that side as well. Can we get one in there? We can. Might knock that in first. That one and that one. Of course, our vertical slope. Just to add like something a little bit different, like there's a bit of extra strength holding this thing up. I was going to do the similar thing out the back here, but we're going to need to... Um, Yeah, I don't think I'll do the back. I was going to do the front, uh, the two sides and the rear, but I'm going to put a storage area at the back, so we won't do that there. It's going to make it, whoop, make it a little bit hard if we um, haven't got enough room because of the storage and stuff. So we come back up. Uh, this is what, level three now. So number five. That one will go there. That one will go there and knock both of these in first before we go putting our walls in. Alright, try and knock this one in as well. Hopefully you guys can see enough. I was trying to get it started early in the morning, the new day, so we can, um, you guys can, mm. oops, death number one. I always die every time I do a build. Um, so you guys can hopefully see pretty well. It's starting to take shape. Let's take a while and grab these rocks. Grab absolutely everything we've got. And I've got plenty of logs on us, which I will show you what we're going to use them for later on. Reach that one from here, yep, that's fine. So we don't fall to our death again. Put handrails up eventually. There we go. I'm going to need to put in some more walls. I'm going to put windows, one window, one not window on the way up. There we go. And then number seven, of course. Start knocking these in. Good for a one hit. I'm not sure what that clicking is. It keeps clicking for some reason, but I'm not pressing anything, so. There we go, around the side. Yep, episode 7 we're at. Tell their body auto save. So I've got a rough idea on um, a roof, but I'm not 100% sure on uh, how it's going to work exactly. So um, that's three, this is four. So I think this one, and then we'll start to head out towards the front. So there, knock that in. Uh, put in. Then we'll be able to reach that from here. You might have to just drop down that level. Deer's body everywhere at the moment. Put this one back in. Um, we might have to go a little bit different this time. I think we're going to go out the next one. So if we put the stairs here, we're going to hit it. So we need to not put stairs in there. So number eight um, in there. Another eight there. I think we'll put some in here. To head up this time. Uh, number eight. 
we'll come around up. Uh, another number eight on top there. Oops, a Z. Then we're going to do a number four. Let's go out the front. Might be short on linseed oil. Say we're going to be. Uh, we're going to need another one at the front there, so we're definitely going to need some more linseed oil, but that'll be fine. We can work that out. That one there, we've got another number eight here. Um, we're going to go up, aren't we? So we can stand on top. So we're going to go up another level. So another number nine, which is there. Sort of got the idea in my head, but I'm sort of winging it at exactly the same time. So, put all of these in here. Still got plenty of logs left. Back up. Uh, put in another log here. Eight, so we can get on top. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So then that shaft will continue out the front, and then I'll start the building of like our little extended house thing up top there. I think that should be fine structure-wise. It's a fair hike up there, it's a fair bit of wood we've used, but um, should be okay. So let's grab some linseed oil, we might have, no not in there, some in here, no. No, none there at all, okay, we'll go and grab, uh, we've got one, we've got any spares, we've got heaps in here. Jump over here, we'll go and grab some flax. So we've got some pumpkins growing now as well. Um, let's grab let's grab two stacks. Run back into the back of our whoop, flour mill here. Um, we're going to need yes, this one. We're going to have to go. Let's just make ten for now. Let's. Take that out. We've got heaps in here already. Um, put this one in. Take some wheat out. Should be fine. Uh, in here, we'll put the wheat, the extra, extra wheat laying around. Where is it? There. I think that'll be plenty, to be honest. Um, in there, I've got some flax. So we'll put extra flax in there. Um, we'll take that out, that in. Put that one back into there, and that should be heaps. So everything's starting to grow really well. We've got huge clearings here now where I've cut down so many trees, it's not funny. That's been going through and cutting everything down. So we're going to have to um, work on the stone now, the outside of the building again. Come back up a few more levels. Start on these walls again. So we need the plain wall this time. Um, hmm. Is it because that's in the way? Possibly. No. What's in the way? Oops. That's not what I wanted. Something's in the way. Is that in the way? I don't know what he's not happy about at the moment. 
shouldn't be anything there at all that I can see that should be in the way now. But this side. I know he's not happy there either. Or there. Or there. Okay, well. run back down and find out what's going on. Let's knock this in. Let's see if he's happy now. Still not happy for some reason. It's got me beat what his problem is to be honest. Maybe this log pillar? No. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, so I'll knock that out and hope that it doesn't fall down. Ah, oh, it's not what I wanted. I don't know what his issue is at the moment, to be honest. You guys can probably see it, but I obviously can't for some reason like this is fully built can knock that out of the way and then see if that helps but that shouldn't make a difference at all seems like it wants to go in there now let's run around this side knock that one down and that one down as well Maybe that's all it was. Okay, let's back up, put in... Actually, we won't put them in yet because... We need to put these ones in anyway. them back in it might not want us to do it again so wooden sticks okay let's grab how many logs we've got plenty of logs so let's grab five there we go I've still got plenty down in storage but um oops didn't make it um don't want to go using them if we don't have to Number seven, we'll put a number seven in here while we're here. Knock that one in. Whoop. Put this floor back in, actually. Put this back in first. Then a number seven. There we go. Run back around, put this pillar back in down here as well, floor back in, then we should be able to go up, that should be fine now, okay so let's put in our windows. these in pretty easy. Missed a couple of number sevens down here but put them in now. Should be okay hopefully. So I think it must have something to do with those vertical things on the side of the building is why they weren't going in but I'm not sure why it really mattered to be honest. hope we can put them back in now even though we're up this little bit higher all right see if we can put in a number eight here I don't know if it's gonna let us put them in here let's jump down see if it'll do it here Um, where are you going? Is it? 
does actually look weird. We've got another... I wonder why it actually looks like that. Ah, it's because it's... I think that's why, because it only took the top half of it off. There we go. Now, let's see if we can put in number seven. It's happy with it. Let's knock that floor out. Uh, number eight here. Put this slope back in. I'm not sure what was the problem before. But looks like it's fixed now. Okay, so run back up. This is going to be our top level where I'm going to start um, our like house slash building area from. Let's put that one in there. I have to come around this side to put some of these on. There we go, that one, that one. That one, we want to put in a number seven. Knock that out first. Is that sun coming up? Slowly. Actually, where is the sun now? Oh, it's over there. It's completely moved. It's not where it usually is. Uh, that one there. Is that... Actually, no, we need the big floor, don't we? Um, large round floor. Uh, there... Actually, we probably will be able to change these later anyway because of the building that I'm going to put on the outside. Fingers crossed it's going to tie in pretty well. So let's knock this out for now. Um, they're completely the wrong way, aren't they? That out. So it's not the building is really not going to overhang. I don't think. I think um, it's probably as far as it's going to go is where it is now. That one's wrong as well. Beautiful. Knock this one out. Don't have enough planks, but we had plenty of planks. Obviously not. Let's make um, craft another ten more, and I'll go back to here because we're going to have to actually knock that out. Knock that out as well. We need to put this one in first. Um, let's have a look. That's the right way. What, did we not go? Oh. Where's our linseed oil? I thought for sure we picked it up. Um, can we get down? Knock that one out. It's not going to let us come down. Oh, I was hoping we weren't going to die then. Have some bread. I don't know why we didn't pick it up. What is going on here? That's done, but all the stuff we had in here has either disappeared or it's loading very, very slowly. I think I might be making the world a little bit too big and it's struggling. Ah, there it is. I didn't even pick it up. Either that or have had a deer in here and he's done all the work for us, but I really doubt it. 
Oh, oh there it goes. Knew it was gonna take a while. Head back over. We need to knock that one in. We also need to put in another number three, but like this, of course. Can we reach it from down here? No, so we need to put in just put in one of these, I suppose. Use that whoop, to run up. Where are we? Number three. Is it gonna let us can we get it? Sort of just gets there and then disappears again. Ah, okay, let's get rid of that. Gonna have to build something to get up there. Um, let's go there. Uh, this one. There, and then if we'll have to put another number four on top. Now, see if we can. We should be able to put in now. We should be able to reach from here. Perfect. We won't go putting anything else on that yet until we've knocked it all in. Otherwise, it may come crashing down. Got a lot of stuff to fix up here yet before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Okay, now we see the windmill on the outside. Knock those in. Waiting for the sun still. The sun is not coming up like I would have thought it would have come up by now. Right, let's jump up here, grab the number five. Oh no! Okay. Well. We did that last time on that other building and it was fine. Not sure what's wrong with it this time. Bits and pieces absolutely everywhere. Okay, let's head back up. What did it break though? Did it break everything or just... Did it break this? Looks like it has broke that as well. How come that one worked and this one isn't? That's a pain. I don't think we're up any higher than the other side, so I'm not sure. I didn't miss anything. No. Is that gonna come down at some stage? Because we need to... We're just gonna have to do that, I think. Ooh, a little bit of a shame. When it decides it wants to come down, that is. Okay, so the idea for up the top is to use these new blocks. the new logs so let's head up and start on the building I'll put this back into there so I think a number three I have plenty of windows up here these in. We've got enough planks. We're probably not going to have enough planks again. really need this sawmill working to optimise our plank output and this thing. Knock it out. We're going to have to knock it out. 
Let's get the sawmill working first. Then we can put some logs in there and make some um, planks and stuff like that. So let's head down and put that on this time. Uh, is he going to be happy to put it on now? That's a question. Not until we've knocked it in, I don't think. Ah, oh, bugger. I didn't want that hanging out the front like we had before. Um, yeah, I wanted it like we had the one before, so unfortunately... I think... But then again, we can always put in... Log with a door, and then um, there are half walls somewhere, isn't there? I think we can use. We need some planks. Oh, let's head back down. We need some light too. I don't know where the sun's gone. Obviously, it does rotate around the earth as it does for us in real life, but I'm still waiting for him to come over the top of us. So it's taking a fair while. No! Again! It must be too high. That can be the only reason for it. Now we can't even get in the door because there's so much junk on the ground. Oh, wow. This is very frustrating. Not any higher than we were the other building, I don't think. that. Get rid of this door. Oh. There's no reason. That's the only thing that seems to be falling down. Like nothing else is damaged, of course. So, yeah, I just do not know what its problem is. Number five. It coming out from the wall has an issue with for some reason. And I don't know why, but it's a bit of a pain. We're both working. Okay, so planks. Let's grab um, five and one in there. And let's put five in there. So we do have. We've got any torches left on us? I think we might have one. I didn't even put in my hand anyway. Definitely struggling for light in here. Getting plenty out of there, it's great. Forty-five out of one, that's pretty bloody good. Alright, let's go back up and start to finish off our little building up the top here. Uh, number four. Beautiful. So now we're out of bloody logs, aren't we? Oh, silly me. Because we put them all in the machine. Oh, okay. Let's head back down. Don't think I. Let's get rid of these things out of the way. How does it look? I think it looks pretty cool. Except for. Oh, the windrows. The windrow. This. Windmill blades are going through those windows, unfortunately. Have we got any. I don't think we've got any left over here. I think I took them all out. I'm not going to go cutting these trees down. I'm just going to go and. Uh, into our storage area and we'll grab something in here. Need some more food again. Have some more bread. I think I've got, I need to grab a whole heap of metal parts as well, so I knew I had some spare in there. Let's grab all of these. Um, we'll leave all them there, that's fine. 
So I eventually want to be able to um, fill this whole thing up with stone and timber and then that way when I come back to create anything then there's always going to be stuff stored in there so we don't have to stress too much about it. Oh, I do. I think that looks pretty cool. Once we get the roof and stuff on, I think it should be pretty nice. I'll we'll grab some more of these. I think. Yep, yeah, that's finished. Let's run up and get to the top, and we can have to knock these windows out straight away. We're not even any point in having windows there, to be honest, because all you can see is the back of a sawmill, the back of the windmill, anyway. Ah, oh, and we need more wooden sticks. We've got heaps of logs. We'll just make a heap of wooden sticks as well. That'll be one thing that would actually be pretty good if we um had a sawmill like this and every time we use a log to make either planks or timbers that we um, get some extra whoop, extra wooden sticks as well as a bit of a, like a um, something that that we get as a bonus or like offcuts of the uh, the sawmill like the logs and stuff look at what I'm trying to say offcuts and stuff um, what I was coming in here for? Can't remember now. We need to go up another level. So put in a set of stairs. Oh, that's fine. Just knock these in quickly. I think I have the roof this way or the other way. So that one there, can we walk on these? We can, good. I reckon I'm probably going to die again before the end of this episode. Oops, especially if we do that. Number four. Uh, number six onto here, but the other way. Straight back up onto there, and then we climb back up again. Six, we need another number four in the middle. Knock it in first this time. Okay, we're going to need a number seven. Get up there, beautiful run down. I think I might. Just to play it safe, um, I'm going to go with a wooden roof. Of course, it is a sawmill. There and here. Need a number six in here. Climb up again. And then another number six, but turned around the other way. Fall off the side if we can avoid it. Might get away, would not dine again. I thought for sure we would have. Okay. Oh, right, beautiful. Let's whack in some roof. So we've got something to stand on. Hopefully, avoid falling to our death again. 
No, I don't know why we put it there, but... Knock that out, of course. Lock all these in, we'll finish the other side off. So I thought about might be able to do it front putting in a window there. Um get rid of that. Was our wooden roof. Be fine, there's not much else we can do to make it fancy looking, so we have plenty to finish this off. Just want to make sure we leave that little gap so we can get back down. There and here and there, and we can put the other one in once we get down. Okay, another number four. Beautiful. So I was thinking, um, number nine, if we put that one there and that one there. In a number three without shutters. That's still really doesn't really finish that off, does it? And we can't extend it anymore, so that's gonna be a bit of a pain. not having to knock it in then. So number three. Oh, I think what I was going to do is some torches. Let's just do ten. I'm going to need them. Gonna have to work out what we're gonna do with that side of that wall there where the roof attaches because it just looks that one's on the wrong side. Oh, this one's gonna be on the wrong side too then. Looks just stupid at the moment. Um Oh, that doesn't, but that does. Okay, so it must have something to do with... Can we... Aha, we can... I don't know if that will like that. We can put that in there. This could work uh, perfectly, hopefully. Look at that, perfect. This is exactly what we need. Let's have a quick look. We need some um, planks, metal parts, we need some sticks, we need that and that as a minimum. Uh, maybe a bookshelf, maybe a table. That's a simple table. Uh, where's, our, where's our chairs? We need more sticks. That's all done, so we get rid of that. Uh, where are we? Sticks. So we've got yeah, a little bit of time, so we'll just fit it out a little bit. We still need to work on um, our handrails and stuff. So, we come up here. Go. 
gonna put in like that, that, um, and that. Put in. Yeah, we'll put in a door. Need more wooden sticks. Get rid of that. Oops. Don't leave those things in there. There we go. Have it as like a little bedroom over here. There we go. Um, obviously, need dressing thing over there. That'll do for in here, and then we'll come out here. I think um. Really not, I haven't got a great deal of room up here to be honest, but enough room for a dining table and some chairs. Go one inside that leg. Then over here as well. Uh, where are we? Couple of bits of bread put in bookcase over here. Beautiful. That's just sort of a little start. Now if we come back in here and get rid of all of this, we're gonna need um, our handrails. We're just gonna do the standard ones. It's just sort of like a little viewing area, I guess. Oh, there and there. That one. Yeah, oh, no, where did that go? There. Not sure where the other one went. To knock it out anyway. Let's go in and grab torches because we're going to need some extra torches in here. Hopefully I can reach that to turn it on. Whoa, we nearly fell down then, I think. Well, where did that, there it is. Make sure we hit the right thing. Chuck a torch on this side as well. There you go. Put that handrail back in there. That's good. That's all right. We need to put in this handrail now. And that one should have enough planks to finish this off, I hope. Just come back down. Might grab a torch in here as well. Brighten the place up a little bit. It's a little bit dark still in some places, but it's not too bad. So I'll finish off um, out the back here, off camera, of course. But um, that's pretty much our sawmill done. And where's the sun now? The sun is completely gone, fortunately. But um, I don't think it looks too bad. How many logs have we got? We've only got four logs. Might as well put them all in. Shut the door. So that's our sawmill done. It's going to allow us to um, hopefully be able to produce our wood a lot, lot quicker. So hopefully you guys like it. I think it looks pretty good actually. It did sort of come out how I wanted it to. Not sure about the roof, if it should have been maybe the other way, but 
No, I do like it. I reckon it's pretty cool. It'd be good if we could have something on the corners to sort of have it like it's holding those corners up, but um No, I do like it. As I said, we'll put like a little maybe even just like a flat walkway area out here, just something completely flat. We don't need to have um a roof on it or anything, it's just going to be our storage area for our logs and um, planks and timbers and stuff. So, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, if you did, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of our sawmill. If you've got any other ideas on our next buildings, um, or if there's anything on this you think we should change, leave it in the comment section, of course. If you haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. Hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell next to it to receive a notification every time we upload. It's been Bruno's Gaming, thanks for watching. See you again soon.